guys, it's Rin and it's time for another Jessica Jones reaction. We're up to episode 5 of season 2. It's called AKA The Octopus. Have no idea what that's about. Mini arms. Let's get stuck into it. Let's go, let's go. Here we go. Oh. Right. She's in jail. She's in jail. Jess is in jail. What? A. B. What am I even still doing in here? It's been 24 hours. The this is a very familiar guards, scene. I have to charge you. Trish already gave a statement. So now I'm on my own? Only if you keep alienating everyone around you. Coming from Jerry, that's pretty fucked up. <coughs> no. Okay. <coughs> She's coming down from the drugs, yeah? Here. Withdraw from the dogs. Dogs? Drugs. Too many times by that crap. I hate her mum so much. I gotta choose the right wardrobe. The fuck is going on? Wait. How long oh, was she I out for? See. Jessica is in jail. Fuck off. Which is where she should be. Jess has always brought out the worst in you, and I won't want That's to trust you in the opposite. Another career. not about my career. Complete opposite. I need your help. Excuse me? Don't <laughs> goddamn push me, Malcolm. Um, I'm all in. They're so cute. My friend. Best friends forever. Hello? Who's this? Who's the neighbor? Oh, oh my god. The poor baby. Would you like to hold him? Yes, I would. What kind what? of. What? Where is she living? What world is this? Have my baby! <laughs> what? I just, I, I just, I just, what's going on? Okay! <laughs> She's cooperating for once. I'll start at the beginning. New year, new Jess. Start at the beginning. Oh! That was a little flashback, callback. Cute. Yay! That's it, I'm free to go. Not if I had my way. I know how you people like to team up. You people? You people? There's a few of us here remember what Kilgrave did in this precinct. Oh yeah. I had nightmares of holding my own gun to my head. I didn't need that because uh, Dream stopped the day you took that asshole out. See, this is nice. It's a nice moment. Someone had finally has some fucking respect for her. That was lovely. Oh. And I'll do my job and get the leverage you want on your firm. I'm gonna need something else. For you. <laughs> she said the leverage you need on your firm. Getting to as a kid, because I don't give a dead moose his last shit. I'm gonna find the actual killer. <laughs> Oh, you're my associate. Wait, did, did you just promote me? Maybe. Cute! <laughs> Best friends Whatever forever. Lock him and Jess. <laughs> I'm fighting crime this. together. Lock him and Jess. Do we really have, like, what's the point of this story part? I don't get the point of this part of the story. That's all. Don't smile. Huh. <laughs> That was kind of cute. No one's going to be looking at your feet, then. What is she setting her up for? Okay. Trish! Is this a pr pr proposal? I can't as I could. Are you okay? Will you share life with me? What? Hey. He's dodgy, though! Hi. So? Um, did she... Thank you. I love how separate Jess is from all of this. Like, they did that really well. I hope you can let that happen, at least today. Oh, so he's not dodgy. Thanks, when did you get out? Are you okay? It's okay, don't worry about it. Just go, enjoy this. I'm happy for you. I get Jess. I'm still just trying to unpack everything that oh, just happened. Well, I'm from the last armpit I was staying in. Just can't play house. 
Good luck. And yeah, she feels like she just lost her only family, which is Trish. Okay. This looks like a frame from a comic book. Oh, the octopus. Many arms. Oh my god, okay. She said, yeah, she didn't agree. Pat, are you here? Fuck off. I just spoke with Griffin. Mother, wait. No, Trish, you don't need to feel guilty. Who are you calling that? No, Trish. Zim, please be a bit more discreet. Are they together? Together? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Jess. Jessica. <laughs> what the poor fishes? Okay, so Griffin wasn't. He's just a normal guy. Is that? Do we think that's it? Do we think that's it? I thought they would keep that going for a bit longer and Trish would have to just let him down easy, but they stopped that pretty quickly. And it's interesting. Like, I guess they wanted to show what if this perfect guy was available and fully in love with her and like, supported her and everything she did. And it's still, it's not enough because Trish, Trish by herself is still going through so much. Yeah, so it doesn't matter how good of a partner is presented to her, she has so much else going on and she's just not ready for that. So I liked how they handled that. I wonder if they're gonna explore that further, if they just like drop him off there. There wasn't too much else. I like that Jess and Malcolm are working a lot better together. I also like that Jess in general is starting to trust more people um, and willing to find help in a professional sense. Um, but yeah, I also thought it was interesting with seeing Jess at the proposal for Trish because she had f probably felt really abandoned already by Trish because she didn't show up while Jess was in prison, probably didn't send her any messages, and obviously it wasn't Trish's fault because she was out for a day or whatever. Yeah, but I thought that it was really confronting for Jess, so it was really interesting to see that. And both of them are so, they like, they're a codependent relationship so it's it's cool to see how that plays out and how there's so much tension there that's it for now guys thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe and until next time bye